One of the first things that comes to mind when you think of North Carolina is beautiful, peaceful, and quiet mountainous areas like this. But did you know that there are parts of North Carolina that had a violent volcanic history? Eno River State Park in North Carolina, just 20 kilometers east of Durham, has some of the best preserved evidence of ancient violent volcanism here on the east coast of the United States. The area is part of the no longer visible Hillsboro Caldera. Volcanism began here in three phases. The first phase was 820 million years ago, and the second was 700 million years ago. The second phase lasted about 300 million years. Resurgent volcanism also happened 200 million years ago. The type of igneous rocks you'll find at Eno River State Park are diabase, dacitic lava, basaltic lava, lithic tufts, granodiorite, diorite, as well as tephra. The Eno River area used to be part of a volcanic island arc that formed off the coast of ancient Africa over 600 million years ago. Much of the eruptions occurred under the ocean and the lava cooled rapidly. Billions of tons of lava erupted in this area. You will also find evidence of pyroclastic and ash eruptions as well. Over 450 million years ago, the island arc and Africa began moving towards North America to form a new supercontinent. Here is where Africa meets North Carolina in the diagram below. Over 230 million years ago, the supercontinent Pangaea began to break up. The diagram on the left shows Pangaea breaking up that started over 230 million years ago and continues to this day. When Pangaea broke up like a bitter divorce, the eastern coast of the United States got to keep the Carolina Volcanic Island Arc. Eno River State Park is located on the east coast of the United States in the state of North Carolina, just 20 kilometers west of Durham, near a town called Eno. Here's a map of Eno River State Park, and the area we're going to be hiking in is an area called Fuse Ford. If you look at this area on the top left, you see a red line. That is the trail we're going to be taking around the area. It's about a, about a mile and a half long, and we're starting to park a lot. We'll cross a suspension bridge, and we're going to go in a clockwise direction, and we'll also go along the river as well. And we'll see many different types of volcanic rocks in this area. In 1996, Hurricane Fran caused the Eno River water levels to rise six meters. Okay, here we are at the uh, Eno River, and you can see the volcanic rocks strewn all over the river here, and even on the banks. And there's different types of rocks as well. The majority of the rocks that you will see here are volcanic in origin. This rock you see here is 630 million year old lithic tuff rocks along the Eno River banks. Basically these rocks were formed by ash deposits and pyroclastic flows from a nearby ancient volcano. Just imagine, hundreds of millions of years ago, the Eno River area was dominated by numerous violent volcanic ash eruptions and pyroclastic eruptions, just like you see here. Here's a close-up of the lithic tuff rocks along the Eno River. This is right near the uh, suspension bridge. And basically, like I said before, it's volcanic ash from ancient volcanic activity. Here's a piece of lithic tuff up close. It was found at the base of one of the boulders along the Eno River. Here we are walking a little farther away from the river 
and we're just basically going to go around the loop. It's about, about two kilometers long. Small dark colored volcanic rocks dominate the entire area. While on the same trail, only a few hundred meters away from the suspension bridge, I came across quite a few of these black lava rocks. They were found all over the area, and you can actually see the holes that were made by the trapped gases. This I believe is basalt lava, um, it is black in color, and you can see the holes in the rock. Okay, but the thing is this rock appears fresh, it doesn't appear like it's a rock that's hundreds of millions of years old. It's too jagged. Unfortunately, I did not get to keep this rock because it's illegal to take them from the park, so I just had to take a video of it on location. Here, a small stream cuts across the trail. So we're back on the banks of the Eno River, and we're following the trail south, going towards the suspension bridge. Volcanic rocks litter the entire area in this small stream. Here you can actually see more volcanic rock lining the Eno River. Now we make our way back to the parking lot.